Welcome everybody. Welcome to IFF Leiden. This here is one of the most sophisticated facilities in the world when it comes to enzyme innovation. My name is Sharif Barens and I lead the research and development team here. If you look up, you get a glimpse of the more than 1,000 square meters of laboratories housing highly specialized equipment. It's a true candy shop. But the equipment is not enough. You need to line up all the equipment in a way that allows the highest throughput. With this infrastructure over here, we are able to innovate the best enzymes for our customers in home and personal care, grain processing, animal nutrition, food and beverages. But what is an enzyme actually? Enzymes are not alive, but are absolutely critical to life. Enzymes are small molecules that accelerate all chemical processes. For instance, if you chew on your food, the enzymes in your mouth help to digest that food. Without enzymes, you will need to chew on that same bite for four months. That's what enzymes do. We are inspired by nature, but nature did not create enzymes, for instance, for a laundry machine. Therefore, we need to engineer those enzymes. We do this through the cycle of innovation, which is built up of four phases. The design phase, the build phase, the test phase, and the learn phase. All of those four phases are a science by itself, and it took us decades to get to where we are today. Now, let me start with the design phase. Imagine you want to cook an elaborate, festive meal for all your friends. The first step, what you need to do, is to get all the ingredients in-house for this festive meal. It's the same with enzyme engineering. Based on customer inputs, we gather candidate enzyme sequences. We explore nature's diversity, we mine databases, both public and private, and the sequences we get out of those databases we, they form the ingredients to cook our super-performing enzyme. In the build phase, we actually make those enzymes. We make tons, huge amounts of enzyme variants to find the best enzyme in the world. Now, that's a big statement, the best enzyme in the world. And I want to tell you a little story. Twelve years ago, when I joined this company, the first year, first year of my work I spent in our beautiful laboratories in Palo Alto, the Bay Area in California. And I remember very well that it was the first week of November 2010 when I moved over to California. And why do I remember it so well? Well, because when I came there, everybody was hyper excited. Not because I just landed, because the San Francisco baseball team, the Giants, won their World Series. Right, there you go. So I got excited, never heard of the Giants, and I still was a little bit puzzled because winning the World Series, meaning you're a world champion, and you can actually do that without ever playing against countries or teams from other countries. So that got me puzzled, right? You cannot claim world champion if you don't play every team of all the countries. It's impossible, right? It's the same with enzymes. And that's the nasty thing of enzymes, because if you want to test all enzyme variants, you need to test a lot. The number of possibilities is almost countless and is absolutely mind-blowing. The number of possible enzyme variants is far greater than all the grains of sand and all the droplets of water on this planet, and even far greater than all the stars in the galaxy together, combined. That's how complex enzyme innovation is. But our unique workflow over here, that's absolutely unique in the, wor in the world, allows an immense throughput. We generate tens of thousands of enzyme variants in a couple weeks' time. In the test phase, we need to test all these engineered variants. And you cannot possibly test all tens of thousands of variants in, for instance, a laundry machine. It's impossible. So what we have done is we have micro-scaled all of the customer-relevant applications while ensuring relevant data that correlates and predicts the real application. 
We have scaled down stain removal. Think of pasta sauce, chocolate, minced meat. We have scaled down, down biofuel formation. And even cheese making, we do in volume smaller than a pea. And that helps to push the throughput that we need in our innovation cycle. So each of the enzyme variants is not tested only once, no. We test all of those variants, at least 10 different tests we do in them. And each of those tests is run at least in triplicate. And then you get an idea of the magnitude of enzyme innovation right here in this building in Leiden. On a weekly basis, we generate half a million data points. That is one data point every second, 24-7. This is where the learn phase starts. All this data is captured in highly specialized, dedicated databases that can be accessed from all IFF R&D sites around the world. The data is cleaned, it's structured, it's organized, and it's processed. All this data, through QR codes and barcodes, is actually located to the enzyme variant and to its physical location here in the laboratories. We have impeccable track and trace. We use also this data as a training set for machine learning. In-house tools or algorithms that we have built help to predict even better enzymes. These enzymes have not been tested, but according to the models are even superior to the ones we have tested. These output sequences form the ingredients for even yet a better performing enzyme. So all of this requires unique skills and a unique mindset. I compare it usually to a top performing orchestra. In any top performing orchestra, each and every individual musician is absolutely, absolutely critical to the end result. And it's the same here. We have biochemists, molecular biologists, fermentation scientists, fermentation engineers. We have analytical experts, automation specialists. We have data scientists and software engineers. And all of them combined enable this impressive story. This is an ongoing journey that started about 20 years ago. And what I've told you today was not possible five years ago. And in two years' time, I invite you back again because my story will yet again be different. Right here, every day, a team of highly skilled and creative scientists discover ways to make our lives more sustainable by finding better enzymes for our daily applications. We truly apply science and creativity for a better world. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the party. <laughs>